Thanks for joining us for the final film in the series. The adventure just keeps getting better and better. We start to ascend the Lady Evelyn River. I can't even describe how much I've loved being out here in this wilderness. Now that was one hard ass poor charge. Proper graft. There's no way I could film all the way up, but uh, I'm going back to it bags now, so if I get a chance, I'll film a couple of waterfalls, but immense. Definite four charge, innit? Definite four charge. This is the easy terrain, no fire. Eh, would have I got these uh, young lads to help carry that bloody canoe? Hey, eh? whoosh. We had graft, but uh, yeah, you do it, don't you? Take your time, eh? As the poor charges fly by, you soon develop a rhythm and a way to carry your kit. What works best for you? Bloody hell. We left a tripod on the uh, one at poor charges. The tripod that I made, I made it on uh, day one or day two. And we've used it with every fire, we've carried it over every poor charge. We've used it for uh, filtering water, for hanging with pots over at fire, we've used it for everything. And yeah, we've bloody left it on the other side of the river, haven't we? And then carried the boat 300 metres over rocks and, and boulders and crap like this. <laughs> There's no way we're bringing it back to get it back, but... Ah, oh, gutted man. I was going to take the hook home with me as a memento, but uh, yeah, it's right in it. So we've had it for bloody, we've, had it, we've been checking it, I forget how many days I've been here. We've been dragging it along, probably probably day two or something I built it. Probably day seven or something now, or, or eight, I don't know. But uh, yeah, gutted. <laughs> Another poor charge. This is what you get to get out with this stuff. Hey, no easy over here. They're all graft. We lad James grafting. Honestly, couldn't have done this without him today. He's done every bloody poor charge carrying that canoe, and they've been rough. Now that's a sight for sore eyes. We've got a camp. What time is it, James? About blooming half seven, eight at night. Twenty past seven, and we found a camp. This would have been our one of our last options. So these two lads have set us up. Jack and well, they're not set us up, but Jack and Kyle are the types up with gear underneath, and uh, they've claimed as a spot. So ah, uh, Bobby Dazzley. After a long, tough and wet day, it was great to see the sunset and the promise of a better day for tomorrow.
Tem. Au revoir. See you at uh, where we're meeting. Who? Right, that ain't Lake District, that. See you at Bridal Falls. Don't forget the rings. What day is it, James? How many days have we on been on mission there? We've been on a mission for a good few days. That was our last camp there. Well, not our last camp. That's the last camp we just set off from. And uh, we got there last night. Been driving rain. It's been driving rain all day. A tough out slog, soaking wet through. I woke up this morning to a beautiful sunshine. Uh, so Catherine Lake in it. This one, James. So we're on Catherine Lake, but uh, that campsite, we're going to rename it Snake Rock because it was full of beautiful snakes this morning. Uh, real beautiful, fit looking, healthy things, gorgeous. So it'd be nice to see them out in sunshine. So a beautiful morning to dry a bit of our kit off. Everything's nice and dry again, more or less, apart from the feet, the shoes, the boots. But uh, we're right. We're heading on to the southern channel of the north of the Lady Evelyn River. Did the northern one yesterday. So yeah, let's crack on. Looking like we're gonna be approaching the first port charge of the day. It's funny, last night uh been chucking it down all day and the last poor toys before we got into uh, Catherine Lake there was like a guy who used to be a ranger here he'd come in by a float plane and he was planning on camping for four days and fishing and uh, we were bedraggled you know and Jack and Kyle had come through beforehand and he said oh he said I think they're camping up there like and I was like oh bang on I said fingers crossed I haven't cracked you know I says they've got a fire going and uh, and a brew on and types up and they were like well nah they'll not be getting a fire going in this weather and I were like yeah yo, you reckon I said we'll get a fire going mate no doubt about that hey never underestimate an Englishman and his bushcraft <laughs> sure enough we got there and a the fire was lit no probs You've got to be pretty sure-footed negotiating the steep poor charges on this section of the Lady Evelyn. Whether that's carrying bags or canoe, the bags can be heavier, the canoe can be more fiddly and awkward. Just saying we're running out of food. Well, we've been running out of food from the start to be fair, but we sort of did it half on purpose in a way. It's gonna be a bit of an experience, so. We're going to have to start relying on, I'm going to have to be eating a lot of blueberries I think and uh, it's whether we've got time to fish because we've chose quite a challenging route but uh, we're going to be doing some rationing anyway. <laughs>
close. I reckon Jack could nail that in his kayak. Yeah. Definitely not one of these Kevlar canoes. Tonight's camp was at the head of a three and a half kilometre portage, ready for the morning with fresh legs. This morning's breakfast. Mm. Now we're out of porridge and we're getting down to the basics that we've got left. Fried potatoes. So we've got a 3k Four toys this morning, three kilometres, but uh, at the minute the trail's pretty decent, it's quite a well used one this one. So we're going in between Lady Evelyn River and Diamond Lake. Well I say this morning, 10 to 12, so we've had a lazy start. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a gra bit of graft to, to start the day. All good fun though, eh? Well, a bit sad really watching that frog get dragged away to its death but it's nature in it there's been quite a few frogs and toads around here so you know it did cross my mind that's what the snakes are probably probably eating sure enough that little snake we're latched on and pulling it away so anyway we're all going to die one day, aren't we? Eh? Hopefully not by a grizzly bear. <laughs> Saying that, I can think of worse ways to go. You be careful of them snakes, you're only a little fella, aren't you? Hey? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Like I say, watch out for them bloody snakes, pal. Bust the buggers, ain't they? Are they buggers? Are they buggers, them snakes? They'll have you, won't they? They'll have you, won't they? Eh? Give an half a chance. Are you shouting at me? Are you shouting at me? What are you saying? Eh? What are you saying? Eh, what are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, where are you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Eh? 
I'm to leave you be. I'm to leave you be. I'll leave you. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling it. Day 10 or 11. Uh, covered some bloody miles. Done some graft. Been a great adventure. Uh, I'm feeling it with these. I could do with a day of uh, just chilling and fishing, really. But what a top adventure. Absolutely fantastic. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Diamond Lake. After uh, two hours and 40 minutes, 45 minutes of poor charging. But uh, yeah, what a mint place. Hey. We're on the tatties again for dinner. Tatties, salt and pepper and spam. What do you reckon, Jack? <laughs> Will that be a Bobby good. Dazzler, that? Yeah, yeah. Let us sort us out. <laughs> It'll um, scratch an itch. <laughs> the sound of the loons. Absolutely loved it. Nice little spot for a brew. And then out and get a camp now for night. Is that a lovely shower? Well, a lovely wash. Crocs and towel hanging up here. Nature right tent there. Beautiful view. Shirt hanging up there, blowing it wind drying. Just washed a few claws. The lads are down here, there's a fire going and a brew going. Yep. Yeah, you can't get much better than that, eh? Looking a bit ominous in that sky, in it, lads? And a bit of thunder rolling in, so yeah, I, felt a drop, I know we're trying to get with tea, get with scran on before it goes peak tongue. Well, we're lucky with that storm, lads. Anyway, it looks like it's passed us by. Another fantastic day in Temagami. Absolutely fantastic. An adventure I wasn't looking forward to finishing. A place where I felt totally at home. The nature hike tent had done me proud, with plenty of room for all my gear. I don't know what sort of fish it is, but it's an eater, isn't it? Get, get fins on back of that, hey? And a mouthful of mouthful of teeth and all. So, yep, it's a beauty, isn't it? Another one of them, slightly bigger one this time. 
Look at that. Beautiful fish, isn't it? Hey, eh? isn't it? Just seen a family of beavers diving right in front of us. There's one just, just swimming in there. Five of them just jumped in right in front of us, no more than, I don't know, eight metres, ten metres max. Beautiful. We're down to the last dregs of scran. Yep, last us a couple of days maybe. So. We're eat, we're making uh, soup out of uh, some like tomato sauce that we were, were using with spaghetti and stuff. Adding a few little bits in there, some pistachio nuts and a few little bits of spaghetti. I'm gonna chuck a few broken crackers in it. See if that can take the edge off a bit of hunger. So we're down to the last bits of scram, aren't we, Carl? Yeah, just the last few bits now. Carl's been out since uh, about half six fishing, trying to catch us some fish. <laughs> but it's uh, we've got up to. You can definitely feel a change in seasons, can't you, man? Yeah, yeah. E even just morning. being out here for two weeks, it feels more like autumn now. This morning it's a bit fresh and a uh, bit of a breeze. So the fish are not playing ball today, are they, mate? No, no. I've been out for an hour this morning. Changed my lures a few times, no yeah. chance. So, time to spark the fire up and uh, see if our luck changes with fishing in a bit. <coughs> We've got a few pancakes left in there. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. Oh dear, hell. so happy in it. So we're off. Two more portages, two more lakes. Yeah. We're getting there. Heading back to civilization. We're leaving Beaver Island. Is this Deer Island in front of us? Aye, it will be. Yeah. We're going through the narrows in between uh, Deer Island. So. Yeah, nice little camp that. Flat calm this morning. A little bit, a uh, little bit cloudy. A little bit fresher. You feel the seasons changing slightly, I reckon. Even a couple of weeks out here has made a little bit of a difference to, to weather. A few more boats around here, and all. A bit busier. The end of an adventure. We're just coming in now, care to go till the finish. And uh, feels a bit shit to be fair. I'd rather just keep going. You always get a bit of adventure blues, not about you lads, but uh, well, yeah. So if anyone out there fancies sponsoring me, yeah, 
drop a bit of scran off with your float plane every few weeks. You know what I mean? I'll push it out to six months if you want, as long as it's a big batch. And uh, yeah, let's keep on going. But yeah, thanks for joining us on this adventure. It's been a cracker. So look after yourselves and we'll catch you again real soon. For me and the lads, we'll catch you later. Sit down. Thanks to Mogami, I absolutely loved it. Hey, and thanks for watching as well. Cheers.